Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So this is the continuation of our food delivery app and here I would like to update a few of the messages that pops up as we try to log in. Now currently if I try to log in and uh, click on this sign in button and here we'll see that it's a wrong and something went wrong. So the message is not clear at all and how to work with this. Now this is our login method we know that and uh, inside this login method currently this is coming from here. Okay, all right, this falls into this category. Now, of course, this is hard coded, so we don't want to make it hard coded. Either it's something wrong with the password or our phone number, at least we want to see that kind of messages. Now we don't see that. And if you come and take a look at our auth controller, which we need to, because you see, auth controller has this login method. So there is a callback function. So we call this login method from there and whatever the status, the status is given over here. And based on that, if we are successful, we check this status successful. Otherwise we show this one now over here. We need to customize based on this status return value. Go ahead and check on this login method. So this is our login method. And here we do see that we have a repository call, which actually calls to the server and the server sends us a response. Now, the first thing we wanna take a look at this response over here. So let's go ahead and print. So I'm going to do print over here and then I'll say my response is, and then over here uh, we are gonna do response and then we do body. All right, now since this is a uh, getx object, this response is actually getx object. So whatever is returned from the server side in general, that's saved inside this body section. So we are going to print this and take a look how it works. All right, okay. Now we're here, I'm going to uh, click this sign in button. And here we do see that, okay, it says that my response is this one. So anyway, so this response is coming from server side. So from server side, we already see that we have errors and code number is this and message is this, right? Okay, so this time we know that it says phone or password doesn't match. So we know that something's wrong with the phone number or password. So this is the exact message that we want to show over here. Not really something went wrong, okay? So let's work on this. And uh, how to work on this. So if you take a look at this one, this returns us a response, right? This returns us a map response. This is a map, we know that. Now from map, the first key is error. So over here, we can print, we can use this key and print uh, more precise information. Now let's save it. And now click this sign in button one more time and after printing it in the console and you see that over here we just have a list. So this is the list and inside this list we have this uh, two sections which is like also in a map format. The first one is code, this is the key and the value is auth this one and another key is message and this is what we want to show. Now we have to understand this is a list, okay? So inside list the first item or element is inside uh, this uh, curly braces over here. Now since this is a list we are going to do it like this. So we want to grab the first object. So that's index 0 and in our case of course we only have one object and then inside this list inside the first item we see that we have map format right and if we know dirt that you know how to access the map key. So in this case right now we are going to access this message over here okay this message key. All right, now let's do how to reload. And then over here, we are going to do like this. Something went wrong, that's okay. And over here, we just return this message, okay? Now this is the one that we actually want to show at the top. Now, now let's go down over here. And here we see that if our status code is not 200, then we return this, which also means the error we have been returning. So over here, we wanna return uh, response like this. So instead of just response status text, actually we want to return this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this one over here and put it. And uh, most probably we don't need this one. Let's see. Okay, we don't need this. And this time we also comment out to this print. So this is the one that we want to send it to our 
sign in page in, in as in part of status object now over here we don't want to show this so we just remove this and then we grab status dot message all right now we know that the status itself has this message object because we are saving it as in this response model and if you take a look at this response model response model has a boolean which is a success and a string which is message so over here we return whatever it is response model is returning we save it in this object and this object is returned over here and as it gets returned um, we put it inside the status objects now we know that status will have message and boolean right so we just grab the message object which is a string now let's hot reload and then if we try to log in and here it says that phone or password doesn't match and this is the one that we want now th th since this is an error we want to show it in a colorful snack bar so we are not going to use this one actually we are going to use over here something's called a uh, valid uh, so this custom show snack bar and this is the widget that we created early and you know how it works okay so over here we're going to get it like this S status dot message all right okay now let's save it and then over here we are going to say it now it's errors phone or password doesn't match and this is a very good readable error okay now this is good and at the same time you need to make sure in your back end over here you are returning using this helper function okay so as you can see we have this sorry helper class helper class has this error method okay error processor method and you should be familiar with that this is what we have worked before so make sure that at the top you have this uh, uh, namespace you are telling where to find it so using this actually pretty much you tell where to find this class so it's inside this app central logics and helpers so central logics app central logics and helpers.php and this is the one that loops through all the errors and return it in an array and this array actually we are returned and of course the status is 403 now once again over here you also see that uh, we also return error over here if we have different kind of errors so now with this uh, whenever we have a different kind of like phone or password doesn't match this one is actually coming from backend and which what we have seen just now at the top so over here you can um, optimize as over here you can show any kind of messages and that message would be shown in our front-end snack bar that has been done for sign in page and we can do the same for a sign up page now let's go to our sign up page and this is our sign up page and inside this we have this uh, method which is actually um, a register method right and we have seen this method now part of the method could be a bit different than you guys because I have changed a lot of things over the past few months but now our focus should be over here once again how we show the messages right mm -hmm. now of course definitely this uh, over here inside this we want to show the message mm -hmm. and that should be once again coming from our auth controller and auth controller has this mm -hmm. registration method and it talks to the server using this auth repo and we get the return we get a response object so once again we have to change the response object mm -hmm. now we're here this is our response object and earlier we have seen how it is returned and how the message is structured I'm not going to repeat that so I'm going to simply uh, delete this over here if we have error just go ahead and take the um, errors key and then the first index object and then the message key and then we'll be able to see our related and the correct message if we have things wrong now let's go ahead and see the back end registration method this is what we have seen for login method and our back end registration method is over here so register method and uh, this is pretty much the same as you guys I didn't change a lot of things and over here just change to this line 
where you have to call this uh, error processor method just to pass this validator object and it'll catch the object in a in a row and then it would put it in um, array and then we return the array mm -hmm. from here and we are returning 403 error uh, one more thing once again over here you can put as many uh, fields as you want but of course you have to change the front end as well and here you can put your correct error information that you want to show it to the front end user okay all right now let's go to our front end now let's go ahead and create this uh, sign in method now currently whatever it is there uh, let's check it and we'll see how it goes now a dot a so I'm going to show you that how it is better this time okay now let's take a look at this sign up error message currently so one second here it says something went wrong so it's not going to work right now we already changed over here so all we need to do grab this message object from this response model which is this one in our front end now over here I'm going to replace this one completely with the show custom snack bar over here and then we are passing status dot message all right great and then after this we'll just do a hot reload and we should be good to go now if you send uh, try to sign up and you will see that here it says email has already been taken and this is beautiful actually all right so I can try to have a different email just change this one on domain name and over here the phone number already been taken as well so this is this is beautiful previously we didn't have this now let's try this now okay now I have successfully logged in because I know that what things went wrong during the registration and correct them and then we can log in yeah that's how it works and if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button thank you